All right, guys, what is up? It is Caleb back again with the Booming Sooners podcast. Uh, Colton is not with me at this point, but uh, he should join back up with us <laughs> here in the future. Colton's dealing with a bunch of crap right now, so it is just me for the time being, but that's beside the point. Before I get started with this, make sure you guys are clicking the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are commenting. That all helps us out with that whole YouTube algorithm and stuff like that, so it's really beneficial for people like me. I feel like I kind of just stole uh, Ty's phrase from around the table sports. Check him out as well. He's a really good dude. But uh, no, that is beside the point. Time to get to the breaking news. Apparently, we Dan Lanning might be our new head coach. Maybe. I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, SI has posted an article saying that Lanning is indeed our new – head coach he's going to be the next head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners and then uh, as well as MSN I believe the article is still up on MSN but the only wow I just realized I've got my midnight snack over here in the corner my Oreos excuse that this is breaking stuff but um, yeah so I haven't seen any any Twitter posts or anything like that any tweets from uh, uh, Brett McMurphy so I don't I don't know for sure so SI put out the article saying that Dan Lanning was indeed our next head coach. And then about 10 minutes later, they said that he was still in the head coaching candidate race. So I don't know what the deal is. MSN's article is still up saying that Dan Lanning is going to be our next head coach. I don't know what to think at this point. I would expect uh, to clear the air and stuff like that, that they would just go ahead and announce the head coach tomorrow. Like it's been rumored that they're going to do to begin with. I'm just honestly, don't get me wrong. The Twitter space, the Twitter spaces, the all like the atmosphere on Twitter from all the Sooner Nation uniting and stuff like that has been great. Don't get me wrong. But it also kind of scares me. Like, what are we going to do for the next eight months after we play this bowl game, right? Like what, we're not going to have anything to do. It's going to feel like just dead space for the next eight months due to all of the, you know, like high intensity, crazy rumors, uh, different sources citing different things it's just been so entertaining uh i feel like i've gotten nothing done um uh, quite personally but um i don't know i don't know what to think i really don't want landing as the head coach um i wouldn't have a problem with him being a coordinator but uh i'm still i'm still kind of sticking my neck out for for venables i really want venables to be our head coach or so here's my whole take on it, right? The rumor is that it's going to be Dabo and Venables, right? And then we're going to have like Dan Lanning or something like that as well, which I like Dabo a lot. I think the dude's really full of himself. Um, I just, I don't like his whole, it seems like during the pregame and stuff like that, you know, when he's running down and like, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but he's like, running down by himself before the players even come out and like just kind of making it like all about him. I don't really like that that much. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, so I don't quite know what to expect there with the whole Dabo Sweeney thing. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, the dude's got highly talented recruits that want to come play with them. He's brought two national championships to Clemson over the past like five years. So he's doing something right. I don't, I, I don't know that I have much of a problem with that, but I do have a problem with like the whole personality. And I don't know if he quite passes my vibe check. And that's me being extremely critical of him. Uh, but I don't know. What do you guys think down below? Let me know what you guys think about the whole Babo and, and Venables thing. Personally, I'd like to see Venables as the head coach. And then we've got the LSU, uh, the former LSU strength and conditioning coach that's looking for a different job that's been at Alabama as well. I think he's been to three different places and all three places he's been, they've brought in natties or something like that. I saw some crazy stat like that. Apparently the players love him as well. So I don't know that I'd be all too disappointed in that. Uh, also, I mean, there, there's plenty of dudes out there and we know from the history of Oklahoma, we know we've got Joe Castiglione, right? The best AD in the country, arguably. Uh, I don't even know if it's arguable at this point, but we've got the best AD around basically is what I'm trying to get at. Um, we're going to have a home run hire. It's going to be some high-profile name. 
I don't think it's really going to be a landing situation. I think I think they're going to want to do that. They are prepared to take the big stage, you know, and stuff like that. I quite frankly, I just don't know if it's landing's time yet. Uh, but I would love to have him as a coordinator. Don't get me wrong. So let me know what you guys think down below. I just thought I'd put this little video out real quick because I was shocked. And, uh, you know, if it's if it's legitimate and it's true that Dan Lanning is our next head coach, it'd be kind of cool to be the first one to kind of drop that news, drop that bombshell. So, like I said, guys, in the beginning, make sure you guys are liking, make sure you're commenting, make sure you're subscribing so that way you can stay caught up with all your Sooner news. Uh, can't see my buttons here. <laughs> uh, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. We love you. We'll leave you. Boomer.